Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Yes, it's raining again. <laughs> what can I say? It's Melbourne and it's winter. Uh, and it seems like every time I post a video lately, it's raining outside. But I actually filmed this a few days ago. I'm doing the voiceover a few days later because the rain that is in this video at the beginning continued and got a lot worse. And uh, it was actually quite a big storm and it knocked the power out for quite a big chunk of Melbourne actually. And we ended up having no power for three whole days. And so um, that was uh, fun. Thankfully, we didn't have any major damage at our house. Um, even though we live with quite a lot of trees around, we didn't lose any big trees. So we got away with all that unscathed. But there's a lot of mess around with a lot of trees down. And there's actually still a lot of places with no power. So we're lucky that our power is back and life seems to go back to normal. But yeah. Anyway, I filmed this a few days before that happened and I'm just getting around to voicing over and uploading it now. So a few days ago, I decided that I felt like doing some inky, loose kind of landscapes on paper while I was at home. So I decided I might film it to see if you guys wanted to watch. Uh, so I was just using acrylic inks. Um, I've got a couple of different brands. I've got some Liquitex, some Dana Rowley, some, yeah, a few different brands of it. Um, I've actually had these for years and years and years. Uh, and I also used a bit of my Himi gouache. And you can see that I did actually get around to pulling all of the lids off, even though in my last video I said I didn't want to do that. I found out that it's actually really annoying having the lids on still because you have to keep peeling up the corner and I kept getting paint all over my fingers and it was just really messy. So I just bit the bullet and took all the lids off and if everything dries out, then oh well. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, like I said, I just decided that I was going to do some loose, inky kind of landscape paintings. So um, I really don't, I don't have any plans. I'm not using any reference photos or anything for these. I'm just loosely laying down some colours. I start out with a fairly loose layer of colour and then I let it dry and then I would go over it again and I actually did a whole bunch of them so you'll see that I kind of worked in batches so I put down a few of these initial colours to start with and then I would um, let them dry completely and then once it was dry completely I would then go over it with some more colour and some more details and build up the layers in the paintings so I was working on quite a few paintings at a time when I was doing this so I thought most of this video is just going to be me painting, so um, I might just pop some nice music in the background and you guys can listen and, and watch along. <laughs> there isn't really much to talk about. Um, so yeah, I hope you just enjoy watching me paint. I will actually also mention one more thing. I bought myself a new lighting setup so that when I film at home, I can mount my camera at a better angle and I can project light onto what I'm doing and I can film a bit better. So this was also an excuse to test out that lighting. So that's why I don't really have much planned in regards to what to talk about while I'm doing these paintings because I was kind of just experimenting with my lighting to see whether it was gonna work properly or not. And yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. I'm, it makes it much easier to get the right angle and so hopefully I don't have to worry too much about poor lighting at home anymore when I'm recording these videos.
can see here, this is another one that I've already done a layer of ink on. And I'm kind of, with the ink, it's sort of just letting it do its own thing. It's wet on wet, so I just let the colours blend together and kind of block out a rough composition of where trees would be and where maybe a path would be. And then I just let it dry and then once that's dry I then come back again and develop the colour a little bit more and develop the details and the shadows and stuff with a bit of a darker version of the uh, acrylic inks and then if I feel like it needs a bit more detail I went back in with some gouache um, just to because the gouache sort of it's a bit more opaque than the ink so I can kind of bring some highlights back in where I was lost them or add some details that I couldn't get before so yeah, I mean, it's, it's actually a really fun project to do. You've, it's really low pressure because I'm not being perfect with anything. Uh, you can just kind of let the first layer of ink kind of uh, tell you or guide you where to put things and let your imagination kind of take over. And it's really relaxing. And if you don't have inks, you can do it with watercolor. Um, I just think that the inks, they're um, a lot more pigmented. So you get a really vibrant color to start with. Uh, but watercolour would do the same thing if you don't have any acrylic ink. And, um, yeah. So, anyway, like I said, I'm just going to be quiet for a while and uh, play some music and let you guys just watch and relax and chill out with a bit of relaxing painting. And, uh, yeah, I'll say goodbye to you at the end.
So this is what most of the finished paintings looked like. Um, I'm sorry, when I zoom into some of them, the camera goes a bit blurry, so I have to tap it and get it to focus. But I just thought I'd slowly go through each painting so that you could have a bit of a closer look at what it looked like when it was finished. So you can see there's lots of, you know, loose details, nice blended in colours that sort of bleed into each other. And it's, it's really dreamy and misty. And yeah, I, I really like this technique and I really like doing these landscapes. It's a lot of fun. Um, when my camera decides to focus. Uh, these ones with like the pinks and the oranges were probably some of my favourites. Uh, there was quite a few that I did with these this colour scheme and yeah, I really liked them. The um, sort of the, It's almost like autumn sort of scenes, which is very appropriate because that's what, you know, Melbourne kind of looks like at the moment. And um, I really like, I tried to sort of mix up some of the compositions as well, as well and have some, you know, sort of further back and some close up some with you know this is more of like a, a wildflower type of field in it with maybe a river you know they're kind of ambiguous like that could be a river it could be a pond it could be a road <laughs> um, and then I sort of went with a few more obvious road type of compositions um, because I really like the way I could do shadows and details in the roads and yeah so they were a lot of fun. Um, and yeah, anyway, I before the power went out, I actually managed to scan and upload these onto my website. And so some of the originals were available on my website. At the time of posting this video, there is still a few available. And I also made them, I picked out a few of my favourites and I've made them available as prints on my website. So if you go to the print section of my website, there's I think four or five different um, paintings that I chose from this collection and I've made them into print options and they can be printed into four different sizes and yeah so if you're interested in getting a print then head over to my website and uh, yeah that's about it really so anyway I, I hope you enjoyed this I know it wasn't you know I didn't really talk about anything too interesting I just showed you some paintings but that's okay sometimes it's nice just to to watch the process and enjoy you know watching the paints and uh yeah here's a picture of some of the prints that i made available on my website uh, and you can get them i mean the, the original paintings that i was doing they were only a4 in size and so because i scanned them at high resolution i can actually print them up to a1 so if you really liked one of them you can get it a quite large and yeah anyway Thanks guys, it was nice hanging out with you again and I will see you in my next video.